What do you get when you combine Fanta and a stick? Fantastic. Is a Dyson V6 fantastic? We're gonna find out now. Hey guys, this is Derek from ModernCastle.com. Today I'll be taking a look and reviewing the Dyson V6 cordless vacuum. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. The Dyson V6 is 47 and a half inches long, eight inches tall. The cleaning head is 9.8 inches wide and the canister is 5.5 inches wide. Lastly, the vacuum weighs 4.5 pounds. The Dyson V6 vacuum comes packed with a variety of accessories and cleaning tools. The primary cleaning tool is the multi-surface cleaning head, which is what you see attached here. Included, we also have a standard crevice tool, pretty good length on that guy. We have a combo tool where you have the hard nozzle for your upholstery, which has just these little tiny red brushes, or you're able to slide out the dusting brush, which has the softer bristles for your more delicate furniture. Here we have the agitation brush. This also includes the bristles, but they are a little bit sturdier so they can agitate dirt and debris more easily. And then lastly, for our cleaning heads, we have the mattress tool here, great for cleaning dust mites and other dirt and debris from the mattress itself. The final accessories we have is simply the charging brick and pin connector that you see there. And then we have a wall mount as well, so you can hang this from the wall if you prefer. The primary cleaning head on the Dyson is the multi-surface tool, and this does include the motorized brush roll. We'll show you that now. The multi-surface tool is great for both hard surfaces as well as carpets. With respect to power, this is of course a cordless unit. It's powered by a lithium ion battery, 2200 milliamp hours on the capacity. That battery lasts for around six to 20 minutes, depending on which power mode you're using, whether that's regular or the max mode. And lastly, it takes around three and a half hours to charge. All vacuum cleaner reviews on moderncastle.com go through our standard cleaning tests. For each review, we conduct 12 unique tests. We test four different debris types on three different floor types. Our floor types include a hardwood floor, a low pile carpet, and a high pile carpet. And our four debris types include rice, kitty litter, cereal, and sugar. The Dyson V6 cordless did pretty good on the hard floor cleaning test. It dominated for rice, sugar, and kitty litter. However, we did see some struggles with the cereal. Since cereal is a larger debris, the cleaning head was just a little bit too close to the ground to get on top of that cereal. So we saw a lot of the cereal just being pushed forward and away from the actual suction portion of the vacuum and ultimately not being easily removed. We saw similar results for both low pile carpet and the high pile carpet. Again, rice, kitty litter, and sugar were cleaned up at nearly flawless levels. However, we did see struggles again with cereal. Just like the hard floor test on both the low and the high pile carpet, we saw that cereal just being pushed around a little bit. That said, it was less of an impact for the carpet test since carpet provides a little bit more friction. That extra friction sort of holds the cereal in place as you're pushing the vacuum forward and backward. So it was able to see better results than we saw on the hardwood floor cleaning tests. Overall usability on the Dyson V6 is quite good. Setup was quick and easy. Simply charge it, attach the head, and you're good to go. Perhaps the best part about this vacuum is simply the convenience factor. It's a type of vacuum you can just grab and go. It's cordless, it's lightweight, it's easy to maneuver. It really is just an easy to use vacuum cleaner. All vacuums on Modern Castle go through our standard noise test. For these tests, we use a sound meter to measure the noise generated by the vacuum. We conduct these tests in a bedroom that has carpeted floors and we take the sound measurements from about three feet away from the vacuum. The Dyson V6 cordless vacuum came in at around 76 decibels. Maintenance on this vacuum is fairly straightforward. Your annual costs are gonna be anywhere from around 24 up to $48 a year, depending on whether or not you need to replace the battery and of course how often you use the vacuum as well. The filter costs around $8 and is very simple to replace. You simply pull this housing out of the middle. This is the entire filter unit. Once it is ready to be reinstalled, you simply push that back right into the center. The empty the dust bin is very simple as well. You simply align that over your trash can and then you just pull this red lever down. That releases the bottom portion of the dust cup and allows you to empty it straight into your trash can. Last but not least, we have the battery, which is this bottom portion of the unit. A little bit more to replace that as you do have to disassemble part of the handle in order to make that replacement. And the battery comes in at around $37. 
So, things to like about this vacuum. Definitely the number of accessories. This vacuum comes packed with accessories. You have an accessory for just about every potential cleaning activity you might want to do in your home. Additionally, clean inconvenience has got to be a major factor as well. Being cordless has a pretty good run time and it's just super easy to grab off the wall and quickly clean around your home. Lastly, overall cleaning performance was very good. While there was some struggle on our serial tests, most of the other tests were easily passed. The pure suction power coming from the Dyson motor as well as the cleaning head and the various tools allowed this vacuum to do quite well. The biggest con with the Dyson V6 is simply price. This vacuum is usually around $250 to $300, so it's definitely not on the cheap end of the spectrum. Well guys, that is it for this review. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please drop us a note down below. We're always happy to help. If you didn't like this video, give us that thumbs down, but if you thought it was cool and helpful, we'd love a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our stuff, definitely subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Also, make sure to check out our website over at moderncastle.com. We've got the full contextual write-up on the V6 cord list as well as other comparisons, guides, reviews, tutorials, and a whole lot more. As always, thanks so much for watching.